8 Powerful Ways to Increase Bile Flow for Better Digestion Bile is a yellow-green fluid that's made by your liver, which is stored and concentrated in your gallbladder. Whenever you eat a meal, your gallbladder squeezes out bile into your small intestine to help you digest your food, especially fats but also some proteins. Unfortunately, many people have a problem where the bile becomes thicker and it doesn't flow properly, causing bloating after eating fatty foods. This bile sludge can cause pressure to build up inside your gallbladder, giving you a feeling of pressure underneath your right ribcage after you eat. Also, when the bile stops flowing properly through your bile ducts, the pressure can irritate your phrenic nerve, causing pain and tightness in the muscles of your right shoulder area. Bile is also important for lubricating your colon, so without enough bile flowing, you may get frequent bouts of constipation. Your stool may be paler in colour, or it may be difficult to flush because the undigested fats make the stool stickier and it can sometimes float in the toilet. And eventually, bile sludge starts to crystallise into cholesterol gallstones in your gallbladder. Now, it's very fortunate that there are some simple and natural ways that you can improve the quality of your bile and boost its flow from your liver and gallbladder in order to get things moving. And that's exactly what we will talk about in today's video. Just a quick reminder, this video is for educational purposes only, so do speak to your doctor if you have any medical concerns. The first and most powerful way to boost your bile production is to consume bile acids. If you wish, you can take a supplement which contains bile acids up to four times per day in order to help build up your bile reserves. This will help to thin out your own bile so that it can move properly through your liver, gallbladder and bile ducts into your small intestine. These conjugated bile acids will also help you to absorb fat-soluble nutrients from your food, like vitamins A, E, D, K and K2, along with some of the phytonutrients found in fruits and vegetables. When you're choosing a supplement, please check the ingredients list and make sure that they contain either ox bile, tutka or bovine bile concentrate. The second way to boost your bile is by eating omega-3 fatty acids. When your bile is too thick or it gets clogged up in the bile ducts, the bile acids can start to back up into your liver causing irritation inflammation and a buildup of toxins in your body that makes you feel just awful. So the solution is to start eating foods rich in omega-3 fats daily like wild salmon, sardines, mackerel, anchovies, avocados, brazil nuts, grass-fed beef and pasture-raised eggs. The healthy fats in these foods will trigger the release and the drainage of the bile from your gallbladder and liver to release the trapped sludge that could have led to a gallstone. It's also important to avoid a low-fat diet, because if you don't eat fat, your gallbladder does not get the signal to release its bile stores, which causes the bile to thicken up and eventually it can crystallise into gallbladder stones. If you're finding this information helpful at all, please hit the like button, subscribe and turn all notifications on to stay updated with my latest health and nutrition tips. Coming back to number 3 which is very simple but very important, hydration. Did you know that over 95% of your bile is made of water? For this reason, it's very important to stay hydrated if you want to keep your bile flowing properly and help to digest your food and absorb nutrients. Many people are dehydrated simply because they don't drink enough water. Or perhaps they're drinking too much coffee, tea, soda drinks or alcohol, which can cause the body to dump more water through the urine. So simply start drinking at least one litre of mineral water each day and feel free to add one quarter of a teaspoon of sea salt to keep your electrolyte levels high. Now, number four is also very important for bile production, eating bitters. Studies show that eating sour or bitter foods triggers the gustatory nerves in your mouth, which will then send signals to tell your liver and gallbladder to release bile. 
some of the best bitters to help boost your bile flow include artichokes, beet tops, dark leafy greens, pickles, ginger, turmeric, hibiscus tea, celery, radish, garlic, mint and apple cider vinegar. All of these not only help to trigger the release of bile, but they also help to improve the health of your liver so that you can detoxify harmful substances from your blood. Bitters will also stimulate your stomach and your pancreas to release digestive enzymes and healthy digestive juices that will break down your food and prevent digestive problems like irritable bowel syndrome, indigestion, etc. As a side note, there is also a liquid herbal supplement that's called Swedish Bitters, where you can simply add two teaspoons to a glass of water and drink it to trigger the secretion of bile and enzymes in your body. And next we have number 5. Stop eating sugar and grains. One of the main reasons that people have a lack of bile in the first place is because they have a fatty liver. This is very common, especially if you look overweight in the belly area or you eat too many refined grains and junk foods. To improve the health of your liver and the flow of bile, you definitely want to cut back on sugars and grains from foods like bread, soda drinks, biscuits, cereals, pancakes, donuts and pasta. Replace these ultra-processed foods with more natural whole food sources of carbohydrates like green vegetables, broccoli, brussels sprouts, cabbage, avocados, berries and salad leaves. You'll also want to eat some healthy, natural saturated fat from grass-fed butter, raw coconut oil and pasture-raised eggs with your meals to nourish your body and keep your cravings for processed foods at bay. Now, don't overlook the importance of number 6, which is to reduce your stress levels. Whenever you feel emotionally stressed out or you're anxious, your adrenal glands release a hormone called cortisol as part of your fight or flight response. High cortisol and prolonged mental stress can weaken your liver over time, causing liver disease and a lack of bile flow. So start taking steps to manage your stress by taking long walks outside in fresh air and sunshine when possible, drinking lemon balm or hibiscus tea, and cutting out caffeine and other stimulants from your diet. You'll soon notice that as your stress levels come down, your digestion will improve, your bloating will be lessened, and you'll probably use the toilet more regularly and consistently. Next up, we have the all-important probiotics. Another step to improve bile flow is to start taking a daily liquid supplement containing at least 50 billion colony forming units of probiotics and look for a brand which contains multiple strains of friendly microbes. Consuming probiotics helps to recolonize your gut with friendly bacteria that help your body to recycle bile and also to create secondary bile acids. Probiotics also release butyrate that can help to heal your gut of any existing damage and also help your body to balance out its cholesterol levels. Alternatively, you can simply eat fermented foods like sauerkraut, kefir, pickles and kimchi to boost the diversity of your friendly microbes. This is a very important step for people who have eaten junk foods for many years or they've taken lots of medications or antibiotics as these often kill off the friendly microbes. And lastly, I want to talk about three vitamins that are essential for bile metabolism. In order for your liver to make and release this bile into your gallbladder, it needs certain nutrients. Vitamin C, for example, helps your body convert cholesterol into bile acids by activating a certain enzyme. You can get your vitamin C by eating raw fruits and vegetables, but don't cook them as the heat will make the vitamin C unavailable to your body. You also need folate, which is vitamin B9, and choline to help your body make bile salts from cholesterol and secrete it into your small intestine. You can get your folate by eating all of the dark leafy greens like asparagus, brussels sprouts and broccoli and it's also very high in liver. And finally, you can get your choline by eating grass-fed beef and liver, pasture-raised eggs, Atlantic cod and chicken and this will help your liver to produce bile salts from bile acids. So here's a quick summary of the 8 things you can do to increase your bile flow. 
Consume concentrated bile acids from a supplement four times per day. Eat healthy sources of omega-3 fats. Drink at least one liter of mineral water per day. Eat bitter vegetables or use the herbal Swedish bitters drink. Stop eating sugar and grain-based foods that irritate your gallbladder. Reduce stress and cortisol by getting outside. Take probiotics or eat fermented foods to colonize your gut with friendly bacteria. And eat foods that are rich in vitamin C, folate and choline to improve your bile acids and salts. Now, many people who have low bile also have a clogged up fatty liver, which is blocking their bile production. If you'd like to learn more about this, tap on the video on screen now for the top 8 signs that you have a fatty liver. Thank you so much for watching this video today, and as always, I wish you great health, wealth and happiness.